appointed almost 15 days ago as a J. Walter, as a CEO of J. Walter Thompson Company. Sorry, because I'm using the name J. Walter Thompson yes. Company yes. because we are getting back to the whole name and also because we use the word company because under it, J. Walter Thompson Company, there are going to be different, different services, different companies. That's one of my first focus as a CEO, try to increase the level of the services, the levels of the companies, and the levels of the offering that we are going to try to present and to bring to the market. That is a, is a first. And we're going to have, beside the agency, we're going to offer to the market a much more digital digital unit, much more hardcore in digital, in CRM, in mobile, in, in, uh, in technology. Also, we're going we're gonna to offer to the market a, a different unit, more specific, specifically in, in content, in social content, plus the unit that we already have in geometry and in compass with the shopper marketing. So that is my first focus, try to increase our portfolio, try to offer better, better opportunities and better service to our clients. Right. My second focus is clearly people, try to attract the best talent for the organization. Talent will always will be welcome in J. Walter Thompson Company. And my third priority is that my creative agenda. Mm -hmm. So we really want to push as much as we can and try to recover the kind of a shine of the creative work that J. Walter Thompson Company used to have. So those are the three priorities. And these three priorities are driving me the final result of the company, this growth, top line growth. I think uh, th three things. First of all, um, I'm very pleased with the new government in India. I think the Prime Minister defined a clear plan for India. Also, I'm, I need to try to understand if the implementation of the plan is going to happen mm -hmm. and how, how successful it's going to be. But clearly, I think uh, I'm not, I'm not only the only one being bullish with India. There are so many other investors and so many other business people and so many other clients that are seeing India as some kind the real point is going to take it off. That's first. Mm -hmm. Second, we at our position that we have as a company, we are positioned as a leader. Yeah. Thanks God, our and I'm not saying this in an arrogant manner, but it's the story of J. Walter Thompson Company that have been in, the, in this market for more than 80 years. We are so lucky that we are working with almost the most important clients in India, mm -hmm. international or international Indians. We got all the blue cheese companies. So the fact that we're going to offer different services because we are already in these clients and because they're already part of our portfolio mm -hmm. is going to help us to try to grow our organic growth, to try to increase our organic growth. Right. So that is part of my, I would say, half of my growth expectation. Mm -hmm. The second expectation, of course, is, as I said, because through other services, maybe we're going to go more acquisitions, maybe because as India is such an important market for us, clearly we are looking for new speciality in the market mm -hmm. and, and new people and new talent are going to bring different units in order to try to deliver this growth. Mm -hmm. So if you put together this kind of units between or organic and non-organic, mm -hmm. that's why, and the fact that India now, the, the I would say the political environment, the economical and macroeconomical environment looks positive. Mm -hmm. Clearly this macro should translate to the micro, but if that's going to be the case, I think we're going to have a, a, a better 2015. I would like to have an India between, as I said, between this 5-8% growth. Okay. And, and clearly, I'm not so worried about profit, I'm much more worried about top line growth. Right. My priority is top line growth, because right. if you have top line growth, then you can acquire Right. Well, companies, you can attract more talent, you can retain more talent, sure. and definitely the profit is going to come. Okay. But our priority is top line growth. So it's 5 to 8% for India, and globally, how much? Uh, what are your targets? Good. Globally, also, is between, I would say, a little bit less because uh, India for me is on the tier of the markets that they, as I said, that they need right. to push the envelope, yeah. like the case of Mexico, like the case of India, like the, like the case of uh, all Southeast Asia. Uh, the markets are really Turkey, I believe, trust that they're going to bring back this kind of a, a level of, of growth. Sure. But uh, worldwide, we're going to be around 5 4 5%.